This week, we're happy to bring you the EX8029 stereo camera module from eTron and EYS3D. Not only does this module shoot standard video, but it's also capable of measuring distances and creating the data necessary for cloud point calculations. The download files for this unit include a number of DLL files along with some XML files for facial recognition. There's also a small executable called eDepth Presence, which will show the camera's output. And there's a PRJ file for making minor adjustments. When you start up the eDepth Presence program, you're presented with three windows, a control window across the bottom of your screen, along with a color video window and a depth window. You'll notice that the depth screen looks a little rough, but control panel has a few options, including post-processing. Just hit P and your depth image should clean up nicely. By hovering your pointer over the depth screen, you can see the distance from the lens at the point of crosshairs, displayed in the upper left-hand corner of the control window. I found the readings to be extremely accurate. There are a few other options in the control panel, including collision warning, face recognition, and background removal. You can also adjust the intensity of the IR illuminator from 0 to 16, although the manual warns that you shouldn't go above 4 without eye protection. Finally, the camera icon in the lower left corner of the control window will take a snapshot of the video feed, the distance feed, and the raw data from the distance feed. These will all be saved in a snapshots folder and can be used for things like image mapping and point cloud applications. While this unit is really straightforward to get up and running with the included package, to go beyond that is going to take a bit of legwork on the user's end. Etron claims that the idea behind this amazing little tool is to allow users to build it into their own designs using their own software applications. A great application would be for any remotely operated vehicle, as this would allow not only real-time visual feedback, but also distance sensing for collision detection. It could also be used for gesture control for gaming. The possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Oh yeah, and your coding skills. You're going to have to have some mad coding skills. There are some sweet demo videos online. I'll link to them in the description below. The EX8029 stereo camera module has the potential and technology to do some amazing things and be part of some amazing projects. And we can't wait to see what you do with it. The files for this unit include... This week, we're happy to... <clears throat> Yay, puberty finally. <laughs> Stereo camera module. <clears throat> S3D. Is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. <laughs> yes.